What's going on YouTube? Petrol Juice here back at it again with a wonderful cheap yet very nice mod. I wanted to do this for a very long time but I wanted to find the right company that has the nicest one for the best price. This is the Auto Clover rain deflectors or wind deflectors whatever you want to call them and they go on very easily they're just stick-ons uh they hold very sturdy they're very minimal so it's not like they're popping out a lot just gives it that nice look on the side of your car and i love personally opening up my windows when i drive when it's raining outside i just like that atmosphere so i'm going to show you a quick video on how i'm putting it on uh it comes with basically four pieces two for this side two for the other side that i have right there set on the side and then we also get some alcohol wipes that we're going to be using to clean this portion all the way down, all the way up, here, all the way down here. We make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're just going to get started right away. It's a really easy install. Just make sure you use the right pieces, so test fit them before you put them on. Make sure they're not broken. And then just get started right away. Cut my thumb today right there with cardboards that's stinging really bad yo so the same method we're doing with these uh glossy pillars that we put on here it got damaged with water from the car wash and i never dried them off so they're a little bit damaged but whatever they're cheap enough i'll replace them soon all right once they're nice and clean look at that so dirty i'm gonna get our new piece here this is going to be the passenger side. There's sort of a technique to put these on. It's on the instructions and Auto Clover was nice enough to put up a video on how to put these on. But I'm basically going to sum it up and show you how to do it. So right when you test fit it, make sure it fits fine. Like I have this that I put on. I'm going to make a video on these, by the way. These are awesome. I'm actually going to put the link in the description if you guys want them. They're fake, obviously. Fake carbon fiber. But they look cool. At least your car stands out in the crowd, right? Anyways, back to the video. Make sure these fit properly. I'm going to make sure I get the dirt off the end of here. So the technique that we're sort of going to do or implement is we are going to remove one side like this. Just going to remove one side like this and leave that there. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. And what this is going to do, it's basically going to let us keep the middle, like we're able to move around the middle part a little bit as we keep the sides in place. And I'll show you the technique I do as I put it on. So we're going to leave these sticking out, just like that. Get this on here nice and easy. And just make sure we fit everything correctly. So I want it to be as even as possible. So I'm going to try to do this side first. I feel pretty confident about that. Now it won't stick anywhere in the middle. That's the best part. So we hold it here and we can adjust it freely. It's only going to stick down here. Make sure everything looks good. I want it to stick around there. Now if that's holding, go hold it here and sort of adjust it accordingly. So I see that it's going to stick right about there. It's not really easy to see with the camera in front of my face. And there we go. We stick both sides. Now all we got to do is just peel it off and stick it on. I just sort of like run along it, push it down as I come down. Make sure to keep it, your hand close like that so it doesn't rip. And just like that, one piece is on. Oh, I keep stepping on them. I'm such an idiot. Anyways, look at that. Run along the side of it. Make sure it's down nice and good. And just do the same thing on all the other three windows remaining. All right, let's get started and do the other ones. All 
All right, we're just gonna step back and show you sort of like a before and after. So I think it looks fantastic. It's not too bulbous. So it's not like there's other companies out there where it comes out a lot more and it sticks out. I'm not a huge fan of that, but this is like a slim look and I love the way it looks. This is how it looks without it. So it still looks great. It's a good looking car, but at the same time you get that added effect uh, for a benefit of being able to bring down your window a bit when it's raining outside and you can enjoy the nice breeze and if you take a fart in the car you can open up your window at least that's what i'm going to use it for while it's raining i'm going to get the other side done now and show you the final result all right guys just like that we are all done so this is the final product and the way it looks i'm absolutely loving it took me like 10 minutes to install everything with that wonderful technique that I learned and I'm, that I showed you guys, guys in this video. It makes life a lot easier. I used to just take the whole thing off and just plop it on, hope I did it right. But wow, yeah, what a difference. It makes the car look a lot nicer. Like, you know, one of those things where someone looks at it and they can't tell what's different, but that's different. As well as those winglets, they're really cool. I'll put the link in the description for you guys super nice all right now what they're meant to do i got a boomba short shifter by the way i'm making a video on that just to review and show you guys how it's like i mean it's freaking awesome super recommend this if you have a six-speed manual but anyways the video is about these so let's pop some ac on now this is what it's supposed to do. Boom. Windows open. And if it's raining, no water is getting inside, baby. Look at that. Still looks closed, but it's actually open. You get the nice air, the nice cool, crisp air in the winter. And it's nice for the money. These are like the cheapest ones you could get. And I like them. So anyways, they do the job right. Same thing on the other side and the back. Love it. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll have all the links for all of my mods in the description below. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me anything. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Life is just super busy. But I sort of want to get a very clean look going with my car. And I would love to do some lowering springs next. Maybe wheels or spacers. Definitely a wing, a roof spoiler. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going nice and slow and steady. And see how the build goes. I'm trying to go even on mechanical mods as well as aesthetic mods, but that's a really nice mod to have. Again, if you're someone who likes the windows open throughout any weather, that's really awesome to have. So the link will be in the description for both of those products. The Auto Clover, as well as these winglets, they look super cool. I love them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Peace.